All right, guys, uh, and even the people over here, I want to, this next person coming up on stage here, this is her very first time coming up on stage. It's a, uh, and uh, she's a, uh, she's got, she's pretty funny, man. I, I worked with her a little bit before earlier, and uh, and uh, she's going to, I feel like she's going to make you guys laugh, and I want you guys to make her feel real welcome, okay? Let's introduce uh, Laura York to the stage, everybody. Come on, round of applause, everybody. Thank you. I'm new to this game. This is my first time. Uh, my name's Laura York. I'm 39, recently single. My ex-boyfriend was schizophrenic. It, it was rough, because he was always accusing me of cheating on him with him. You know, you chicks think you got a bad arguing with one man? I had to argue with 99 of these assholes. And I wasn't even getting any, you know? I, I had 99 men and dick with none. You know what I'm saying? It was awful. But um, it's okay. It's, it's hard dating when you're a little short hobbit like me. But I have a game. We're known as the Hobbitos. And this is our sign. Kibla! We do make cookies in our off time. You know. Um, we're taking new members. You have to be under five foot. Okay. Um, I can't tell you about the initiation, but the benefits are great. Free cookies, all you can eat. Um, but it, it's rough being single. You know, I had to move back in with my mom and dad. And I've tried the online dating, you know, the Match.com, the Plenty of Perverts. I'm just going to call it that. I'm just saying. It's just many, many perverts. Um, you know what they should do is just take all the losers from every website, okay, and put them on one website. They could just call it, we know you're desperate.com. You know, they could have like different categories, like stalkers, you know, bunny boilers, <laughs> recent sex offenders, you know, guys with no jobs. Make it a lot easier for me so I don't have to look around so hard. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. <sighs> you know, it's hard. You know, moving back in with your mom and dad when you're so educated like I am. You know, I'm fluent in English and drunkenese. Now, you all might know, might not know what drunkenese is, but I'm sure somebody back here might know. <laughs> might be fluent in it. <laughs> this guy right here, back here, he might, he just said, your parents' house are mine, baby. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, um, a lot of things have changed since I've been back home. Um, I, I remember, you know, sitting in my bedroom with my big hair and my Aquanet, watching Bon Jovi on MTV, shaking his ass, looking all cute. Fast forward 20 years, this dude is on TV hawking Advil. I'm like, what the hell? He went from chasing chicks and dr chugging beers to freaking popping Advil like Tic Tacs. Drinking prune juice backstage, he might need a walker. You know, he used to he used to sing about bad medicine. Now he's selling it. I mean, I don't know what I don't even know. It's crazy. But thanks for being out here. Um, look, free jewelry. Hobbits like shiny things. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this on. That's right, baby. My Hobbit gang is actually here. Woo! They got my back. If you try anything, we will gnaw your kneecaps off. I'm just saying. <clears throat> it's crazy, man. I'm telling you. You know, speaking of commercials, there are so many stupid commercials. Okay. Like the one about, um, remember to never shake a baby. <laughs> well, thank you, because you know what? I was going to go to Walmart the other day and just pick this kid up and just shake the shit out of him. And then I remembered, wait, never shake a baby. I mean, thank you, Jesus, for telling me not to shake a baby. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the magazines and I see that Snooky's pregnant. Jesus, God. This stupid bitch, this poor little kid, you know, it, he's probably already been shaking like a martini by now. Because, you know, she's at the club, mm, 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 fist pumping. This little kid's gonna come out with friggin' fist pumping and drinking shots of Jaeger, chain smoking. It's crazy, man. I'm telling you. 
But I appreciate y'all guys listening to me. I don't have a whole lot. I'm new to this game. But listen, man, we're taking applications for the Hobbit game. Benefits are great. Just saying. Free cookies, all you can eat. I don't have a whole lot. I'm new to this, so. Thank you very much. And drink up. She can't even reach the mic stand. <laughs> this isn't limbo. Go sit down, mini me. Give her a round of applause, everybody. This is Laura York, first time, okay? What's up, What's up everybody? Um, I'm Adam Grubb. This is Laura York. Uh, uh, do a little interview here with her. Um, uh, Laura, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, uh, I'm almost 40. I'm single. Uh, I just moved back in with my dad. I mean, I'm ready to do something like live. Awesome, awesome. Well, what made you want to pursue comedy? Um, my families are really funny. Um, we always just, we have so many stories I can tell. It's ridiculous. Speak up, they can't hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me get louder. My family is a family of hobbits, and we're very funny. And you know, I just always wanted to do this. It's on my bucket list, and I decided to do it. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Um, well, after you've got your first show out of the yeah. way, your first yeah. uh, open mic, yeah. um, how do you feel about it? I feel really exhilarated. I was kind of nervous, but it was very exciting, and I want to do it again. Yeah? yeah. How, how soon do you want to do it tomorrow? Uh, yeah, sure, we'll do it tomorrow. I'm sorry, there's no shows tomorrow. Damn it. <laughs> Such a tease. It's a comedy tease. It's my favorite. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyhow, um, uh, did, did you learn anything? I did. I did learn that you need to chill your nerves out. Um, but, you know, that comes with the first time, just like anything. Right, right. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what did you think of the, uh, the the show all together? Like, I thought the it people was great. That it, um, I thought it was really great. Yeah. Um, oh, man, I mean, I just feel like I have so much to learn. But these guys, I mean, they really taught me a lot. Yeah. Well, we're like a we're like a tight knit family. This I, I in, like in the it. Comedy I like it. You know, we, we we go to do a show and yeah. then we go elsewhere and we we'll do right. a show. And, mm -hmm. and we're you're notice we're all together. Yeah. Um, and they seem really chill. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I felt like I wasn't chill, but then I'm, when I watched the playback, I'm kind of Yeah, yeah you, you look really good up there. You thanks, really good up thanks. There. I enjoyed um, it. It's a good time. Now, uh, uh, out of the guys that were up here, and uh, nobody's going to get offended or anything, uh, who, who's, uh, who's your favorite up here? Uh, the bigger guy. I think it was two or three. The bigger guy with kind of long hair. Uh, that was either uh, Rigsby. Rigsby, or, Rigsby. Rigsby. I like yeah, Rigsby. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like he Rigsby. seems to be a fan favorite tonight. Yeah, He's yeah. Really well. Rigsby's really awesome. good. I like the guy with the shades. Yeah, uh, that would be uh, Norman Lamont. I like him. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, yeah. he's also a I like everybody, but yeah. those two were like my yeah. yeah. favorite. I got to yeah. give it up for Betty Lou. There. Betty that, Lou was the bomb. I, I mean, thought, she stole the shuffle. I thought you were going to be like the uh, the only lady. Yeah, I know that was great. Busted you out. Yeah, yeah. She she took some heat. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well. Uh, Laura, it was nice working with you, and um, it was. we'll get the, uh, hopefully we're going to do this again real soon. Absolutely. Okay. All, right. All right. Thank you. Peace out. Keep blue.